Hello there internet and welcome to another new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a website on Weebly uh, for free. Um, there's more to it that involves having to pay for things but as always I try to keep the videos on my channel as free as possible so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first we will need to go into the sign up button and you're, you can sign up uh, a few different ways. You can sign up through Facebook or through uh, Google Plus. I happen to like to just do it through your own email just because it's easier, um, at least for me. Uh, everyone has their own preferences, but I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. All right, once you've filled that out, you just click sign up for free. <coughs> then once you've signed up, we believe we'll pull up this page asking if the site you are building is a more website or if it's more blog like or if it's more an online store. For today I'm going to do a site type page. Site and blog are almost interchangeable. I will just start setting up a site. So let's go here. Then we will pick a theme and many of some themes have different color options but not all of them do. I want one with a different color option to show in the video why I'm gonna choose this one because why not then it will ask us to pick a URL and this is where it can become um, the thing you pay for and I believe it's like 10 bucks a month um, if you pay for a domain through them or uh, if you're connecting your own domain but again we're keeping this free awesome click continue and Weebly does a nice job of kind of showing you how things work on its own. I'm going to try to briefly go through the main things, but it's a really easy website builder. Um, they tell you what you can use for free and what you cannot use. Um, but it's literally just drag and drop. So that I'm going to click over here and I'm going to change the name of my site. And I can type it with whatever font. Um, and if I have an image logo I want to use, I can use that but I'm just going to uh, type in the site name and I should be able to change the font of that but apparently they're not gonna let me at the moment. So this is our home page and you can add more text to that later but you can also change the layout of this page. To customize how the page looks you go over to pages um, and then you will click uh, this, you can choose tall header, short header, no header, landing, or a splash page. Um, and right now we are on a landing page and I want to just make this a tall header. So as you see it kind of shortened up this bit and then we can add more content uh, in this area. And you, again just mess around with the different pages or different page types. I'm going to begin customizing. You can add an image to your page and then you if you don't want it to go all the way across you can have some text be to the right or to the left of it and you just gotta like I said you just gotta click and drag for uh, making your website you can type out your information that you want um, you can insert a slideshow if you have custom code you want to embed your that's what you do with that. If you want to add a button either between or below, no, I just want it over on the left. Why? Okay. Well, that works too. Then you can do that. Then I'm going to, I'm going to come over to this contact page and begin creating a contact form uh, using different elements over here. So you can insert in contact form and they have one pretty much for you. Uh, and you can further customize it from here. Go into form options and all that. Uh, confirmation message and tell it to go to a link elsewhere. Even somewhere on your own website that you're currently building. Um, you can choose what the button says and all that. Um, 
but for now I'm just going to save because save this because that's really all I need to do here. And then you can add uh, social media icons to your site. And I'm going to center these. And then you click manage icon. Nah, stop it. Okay. Click on manage icons. You can add and Weebly has gotten a lot better in what they add. So you can add uh, a YouTube button. You can add uh, Google Plus, RSS, Vimeo, Pinterest, uh, and all that. Um, then I believe you should be able to change the the colors of your site. So I can come over and click black. So then that will change anything that's gold <coughs> to this kind of gray. You can also edit the images for the backgrounds of these things. You can change. Here's where you can change your font. There we go. So I can go into site title. And I want it to be. How about this one? Why not? Quill beans. So it's really simple to use. If you want to uh, add a page, you just come up here and then you can choose a standard page, a blog page, a store page, or a uh, redirect to an external page. So if I wanted a page on this website to go to my blog that is hosted elsewhere, I could do that. Um, for those of you who may want to set up a, a blog of sorts, uh, on your Weebly site. Uh, you will click blog page and we will just call it blog and we'll give it a short header. We're going to come over to build and you can uh, add elements to uh, your sidebar and also edit these. So if you want to blog archives, which I think is already there, you can add a blog feed and blog categories. <laughs> So if you get the loading thingy forever, just hit refresh your page. So back to editing our blog page. You can add different elements over here, and I was going to add your social media icons over here. I'll do that right up there, and then you edit it just the same as you would before. And just center it, and then you can link them to whatever. Um, then to create a post, go down to the bottom right corner and click New Post. And creating a post is just as easy as creating a page. Um, and Weebly tells you click here to edit your post options, add category, schedule your post, and more. So you can give it a title. So then down here is where you would need to add, this is how you would add your text by dragging a text box over. And then you begin typing. And again, if you want to add the images to help explain your post, you can do that. If you want to add a video, uh, it'd be, it's easier to do it from YouTube um, or a flash video. Uh, but if you want to upload your own video straight to Weebly, then that's a feature you will have to pay for. And it's just going to be easier to upload it to uh, YouTube anyways. And then you will have to edit where your video comes from. You put in your video URL there. And you can adjust uh, the size and all of that. We can in HD video. That's roughly what all I would need to show you, except let's actually publish this so you know what that looks like. Come up to your post options. Uh, you can tell it to publish immediately or schedule a time for it to be posted. Um, you can also edit the share settings mm, uh, to Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you can allow uh, comments or just not have them at all or allow them, but each comment is going to require some form of approval. Um, and you have your 
little advanced settings down there and that should be it but we're going to just post this immediately and then we can add uh, categories so you can add multiple categories and all your categories will show up over here and then let's just go ahead and hit post and then it will prompt you to share it but we're not going to share that right now because i'm not going to share this site hopefully i have showed you roughly everything that you need to know if you have any more questions regarding how to use weebly feel free to leave me comments down below thank you so much for watching if, uh, if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and be sure to go hit the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel to be notified immediately of more videos that I put out and don't forget to hit the other red subscribe button to subscribe to my main channel and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.